What's the deal with you and that exorcist Eleanor? She had tears in her eyes when we first saw her at Northgand. Velvet poked fun at her, calling her the crybaby exorcist. Why would an exorcist cry? Sacrificing the individual for the good of the many is part of Artorius's philosophy. She seemed troubled by that. She's naive. That she can still carry on shows just how strong she is. It looks like they don't hand out the rank of Praetor to just anyone. Hmm? Just stay sharp around her. That's all. By the way, is that Bienfu character that Magilu was after really a Moloch? He may look strange, but yes. He's still a Moloch. That means Magilu is an exorcist. Why does she call herself a witch then? If she got locked up in that prison, she must have been kicked out of the Abbey. Or she could be a fraud. Yeah. Even if she wasn't an exorcist, she could still perform some tricks with a Moloch like that. I will protect you, Madam Eleanor! Face me now, demon! <laughs> right? <laughs> Whoa! Was that laughter? Uh, I'm sorry. Why apologize? Bienfu is funny, right? Right. Then if you want to laugh, laugh! <laughs> I wonder. If you think that's funny, you should give it a try for yourself. Say, Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Uh, alright. Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Knock it off. <laughs> huh? What's the problem? People are staring. Don't attract attention. I'm sorry. <sighs> She's so uptight. Let's try it together later, Luffy Set. Uh, all right. I wonder though. That voice that he uh, Rokuro's version of Bienfu. I wonder, did he provide the voice and Bienfu? Because so, that is very odd and yet interesting at the same time. I've played two main characters. Also, I need to see how long we've been going for. I've got certain things marked down, but not completely. It really feels like we've done anything. So. Yeah, we've still got plenty of time. Welcome back. That must have been hard work. How does marble curry sound to you? I also have our specialty peach pie on hand. We had a deal. Spill it. Aw, poor Lappy Sets. <laughs> Shepherd Artorius has gone north, up the Danan Highway, at the Abbey's newest temple, the Empyrean's Throne. He is expected to be there for a while. Are they relocating there? In a sense, yes. They're holding a ritual to move the seat of the Empyrean Innominat. Innominat. In other words, the Abbey's new god. It is a very serious affair, so I imagine Melchior will be there along with the other High Exorcists. Suits us fine. I might even find him there. That will do. Somewhere in there we'll find a chance to strike. Perhaps. But be aware that security near the throne is on high alert. We'll manage to get through. No, you won't. You may be able to fool the guards, but there's no tricking the barrier they've put up. They've used arts to erect a giant wall, keeping outsiders away. But they have to get through themselves. That implies some sort of key, right? Yes. In fact, one of our people is looking into that as we speak. However, I'm afraid... <laughs> It'll cost us. You learn quickly. And here's the bill. Assassinate High Priest Gideon of Midgan Cathedral. Ooh. Okay, now we're really not being nice. Consider it done. Aren't you going to ask why you have to kill a High Priest? I imagine it's because he's the one controlling the nectar supply. The Church is the sole producer and distributor of a highly addictive substance. They rake in huge profits, while the common man, along with your people, suffer for it. Does that cover it? You noticed your tasks were related. That was the real test, wasn't it? 
And you passed. No matter how skilled you are, you have to know more than how to swing a sword to earn my trust. Don't misunderstand my intentions. I'm willing to do anything, if it brings me to Artorias. I ditched my scabbard long ago. I see. So you are the embodiment of a bare blade. A more formal introduction is in order. I am Tabitha Baskerville, leader of the Bloodwing Butterflies. Huh. I'm Velvet. Tell me about the High Priest. Each evening, he prays for protection from calamity at the royal villa on the Castle Logris grounds. Tradition holds that the High Priest should be alone for the prayer. That would seem the best time to strike. How do we get into the villa? Carry this insignia with you, and allies of the Bloodwings will offer you their aid. We'll hold up our end. Just find out about that key. Ah, <sighs> uh, Velvet? Are you okay? It's nothing. But you seem... I said it's nothing! Uh Sneaking into the castle will be an all-night job. Let's take this time to get everything ready and then rest at the tavern. Yeah. Oh, I'm really tempted to end things here now and do this next session, but... Oh, dang it! If nectar made from vermilion ore is so bad for your health that it was banned, why are they making it? They make it because it was banned. Huh? Just because the powers that be say a rule is for the greater good, it doesn't mean that everyone will see eye to eye with them. If Tabitha's Mabo curry was outlawed, would you really be able to never eat it again? I wouldn't like it, but if it's against the rules... Uh... <laughs> well, you'll get hungry no matter what. People want what they want. But anything forbidden is bound to be rare. And when things are rare, they become expensive. So that's why people make it. The world isn't a simple place. There's an underside to everything. An underside? Contract killers, secret weapons dealers, loan sharks that charge outrageous interest, pirates like me, the folks who offered us mooring for information, and the gilded helivies are all part of it. As are the people who dye chicks blue to sell them at a higher price. And the people who bet on alleyway bug fights. <gasps> and they'll come to you with a smile, so you can't let your guard down if you want to stay safe. What sorts of bugs do they make fight? That's the part that got your attention? Seriously? <laughs> wow. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll do it. Let's just hope that's not gonna be a difficult one. Actually, should I save? Yeah, of course, a message from a friend. Maybe later. Assuming I have enough time before work. But yeah, I think I'll go and hit the safe spot first and foremost. And then we'll set out. Just up, and I'm able to take care of things. Save over. Yep. Save state number six. That sounds about right. I'll probably make it a habit to do a safe state every 30 minutes or so. That way it'll be easier to get uh, between certain points. Maybe every 15 minutes. It depends. Okay, if everything's taken care of... We got an assassination to take care of. High Priest Gideon will be alone at night. Rest up. And talk to the Tavern Keep when you're ready. The Shadow Guild. Operates this tavern. It's been that way for generations. The red scarf is a symbol of the Bloodwing Butterflies? Aye. You seem to know a lot. Show that insignia to a person in a red scarf, and they'll help you out. Alright then. There's a room upstairs for you. Would you like to rest now? 
Yes, let's do it. We know for a fact that Captain Eifried was on the prison island for a period of time. And it's true that Melchior took him away. However, I'm afraid that is where the trail grows cold. In any case, we can be sure that the Abbey has him captive. But what could they possibly want with him? If their aim is merely to fight piracy, they'd publicly execute him, or try to lure you out, would they not? And yet they've done neither. Total silence. I wonder... Could it be they want to get their hands on the relics some say Eifried brought back from the far continent? The relic from across the sea? Have rumors of that strange thing been going around? It's possible. There was a certain relic that the captain was curiously taken with. Kept it safe. What was it? That's our business. I'll speak no more of it. But if that's truly what they're after, I highly doubt the villa is where they're keeping him locked up. That's not where they keep their torture implements. Quite true. At any rate, I thank you for sharing what secrets you could. I wish you the best of luck on your search for more information. Survival is at stake. An elder sister eating her brother before he inexorably wastes away is not outside the bounds of reason. You needn't hold back, Velvet. Eat, Lafisette. No! No! The hell with you! You and your disgusting words! Oh, jeez! No way! What? Why? You were... You were shouting. Be more careful around me! You know full well I'm a demon! I'm sorry. Damn. Awake or asleep, it's all one long nightmare. Smashing objects together is destruction. Smashing feelings together is life. But objects, tools, so much easier to abuse and toss aside. What does that mean? It means break time is over. Time to get to work, sweetie. Well, that was certainly frightening. <laughs> Good thing I showed up in time. Don't tell me you're coming too. Sojourn alongside the gloomy demon lady, and the exorcist controlling Bienfu is sure to appear. I told my own fortune, and there it was. Do your fortunes actually hold water? I've been in the castle before, you know. How useful to have Magilu along, they said in the future. Get in my way, and I'll give you the boot. It's the Viper's Nest. They're always watching. Yes, but therein lie shadows, too. Let's look for someone with a red scarf. Let's see. Definitely not you. There's gotta be someone around here. Maybe... Ah, maybe you? His performance was amazing! Oh, it's a dancer. Never mind. Do they give a star for this one? Yes, they do! Thank you very much! Yeah, because I'm not very good at Never been my specialty. 
Let's see your papers. Checks out. This tunnel over here connects to the castle. It should put you inside the villa. favorite meal is witches. <laughs> All right, onward and inward. Everyone but Mogilu tread carefully. Some assassin's crew we are. <laughs> the Bloodwings are a serious organization. I'm impressed that they know about this entrance. And they have agents on the inside to facilitate this little operation, too. They must have branches working all over the Empire. They've probably even figured out how to get cats and dogs working for them. Here's a juicy morsel about them. They make sure even their corpses go to good use. They what? Long ago, one of their agents stole into the castle. When the guards discovered him, they chased him to this very passage. He dove into the water to escape, and then... Crunch! Ah! A crocodile devoured him in one massive bite! All that remained was his arm bobbing to the surface. From this, two important facts were learned. What were they? First, they learned of the existence of this passage. Second, they could serve crocodile meat in town. Crocodile meat rubbed with human blood becomes tender and succulent, perfect for Mabo curry. Then I ate? If it's so tasty, I'll have to try it. Rubbed with the blood of a lying witch. That would hit the spot, I think. And it wouldn't even affect our combat strength. Hey, the kid's a wreck. It was just a joke to help calm him down. It was... a joke? Yeah, I totally made up that part about the crocodile. Mabo curry is actually made from man-eating catfish who... Let's keep moving. Right. I'll get you for this, witch killers! <laughs> Oh, man. That was a good comedic bit. Oh, hey, there's a save point right here. Perfecto, Senor Panero. Okay, then. So maybe I didn't have to worry about things, but now I'm curious. Are there actually enemies to fight around here? You know, guys I can uh, grind up, that sort of thing. I see these soldiers, but that's about it. I'm mainly looking for something I can do, grind out. Oh, and I'm already seeing enemies. So perhaps I can. Logs and whatever all these things are. You'll be rushed on the head. No Alright then. So yeah, this appears to be blocked off. I mean, where we're supposed to go is the top right. However, I think this will have to do it for me for today. I was hoping we actually be able to get to the point where we're fighting the prince, but... Looks like that's gonna have to wait for another time. But on the plus side, I have a spot to grind for a little bit, build up the uh, art star mechanism. And, you know, be prepared for things in the future, so we don't have to worry about any uh, harder grinding. But yeah, with that all said and done, guys, that is going to do it today for this session of Tales of Berseria. If you guys have enjoyed so far, of course, as always, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Share this with your friends, should you feel need to. 
And of course, make sure to subscribe here to the channel and join the Dread Knights and Belladonna crew in their quest to assassinate Prince Gideon and end this addictive Nectar uh, Ponzi scheme, in a way. Or however you refer to it as. But hey, until next time, this is my action for signing out. Have a great rest of your day, take care, and let's throw it over to M2U for the end card slate. And I'll see you guys in the next session.